What we want to take a look at now are some of the capabilities of some of our tube and pipe and routing functionalities within Autodesk Inventor. Now Autodesk Inventor gives us the flexibility in an integrated environment with inside of Autodesk's Inventor native environment to be able to generate different piping and tubing and, and routed pieces of geometry with, within the environment. We can create flexible tubing as well, well as uh, rigid tube and pipe geometry. And we can set up rules and conditions within the environment under our tube and pipe styles uh, to be able to lay out how these uh, piping systems interact as we build three-dimensional sketches within the geometry. So I'm simply going to inform Inventor that I want to generate a route and on the fly I have the capability of following these routing directions just with my mouse. I also can input or or, or define actual distances that I want to run in each direction so I can type those in and hover over those different line geometries. Making it very easy to be able to work within a 3D space. I don't have to if I don't want to look at this in a 2D orientation. Now I can, but Inventor makes it so easy for me to be able to use this that I don't have to mess around with looking from different perspectives when generating these components. Now notice the elbows and T's and different pieces of geometry are automatically built on this assembly because I had all the had all the rules and regulations built into my 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 tube and pipe styles previously before I actually started routing these components. And I can lay out these different components and rules and spread these throughout my company. Now the other thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and make use of the components that were built. This is actual geometry that's built within my assembly here. And so I can go in here and make use or reference to these different components to generate um, cutouts on the frame members so that my tube and pipe geometry don't interfere with the actual frame members. So I get a nice visual representations of the components that are generated here because I'm working in a 3D space. Now some of the definite benefits when working with Autodesk's routing tools are the fact that we have um, ingrained or uh, made use of, again, a massive library of components. Um, different T's and elbowed conditions as well as different tube and pipe styles that maybe I want to integrate into my assembly. We have thousands more components than what SolidWorks offers you. SolidWorks is going to offer you just a few different profiles that you can modify, but you have to go in and change some of the conditions of that geometry. Autodesk Inventor is giving you this information out of the box without having to make or waste additional time changing those different pieces of geometry before you start using them.